In the vast expanse of the oceans lies a realm of stealth and unimaginable power. Here, cloaked in darkness and propelled by nuclear energy, lurk the US Navy's nuclear submarines, the apex predators of the undersea domain. Two, three. Two, two, three, I fire, two, three. However, the true story of US nuclear submarines goes beyond their fearsome arsenal. It's a story of the exceptional men and women who crew these vessels, enduring a unique and demanding lifestyle. Life in the silent service is not for everybody. You need to be someone who is comfortable with no sun, no outside communication, and can do with less personal space than offered in a prison cell. The submariners are indeed different from everyone else in the military. Witnessing a US nuclear submarine, especially an SSBN, reveals its immense size. These ballistic missile submarines not only surpass the length, but also double the displacement of the US Navy's Arleigh Burke-class missile destroyers. To put things in a better perspective, let's take a look at the Ohio-class SSBN. Being one of the stealthiest submarines in the world, the Ohio-class submarines represent America's ace in the hole. Each displacing 18,750 tons submerged, these boats are the largest submarines ever built for the US Navy. The Ohio class was designed to be 560 feet long, which is roughly half the length of the Nimitz class aircraft carriers. With a beam of 42 feet, this class has enough space to accommodate two rows of 12 Trident missiles. Each of these missiles carries multiple independently targetable warheads capable of obliterating entire cities with a single strike. That's the kind of firepower these leviathans wield. Submarines constantly rotate between operating periods and shipyard maintenance. Major overhauls, repairs and upgrades are carried out well in advance to ensure the sub is in peak operational condition. Preparing a USN nuclear submarine for deployment is an extraordinarily complex and meticulous process involving a flurry of activity across multiple levels. Each crew member, from the newest sailor to the captain, undergoes rigorous training for their individual roles and the submarine as a whole. In the weeks leading up to deployment, massive quantities of supplies are loaded. Everything from food for months-long missions to specialized equipment and spare parts. If it can break at sea, there's likely to be a backup on board. If the sub has offensive capabilities, munitions are loaded with extreme caution. While the external inspection teams verify the submarine's readiness, engineering teams perform extensive tests on every critical system. No detail is too small when you are hundreds of feet deep in the ocean. The day before the deployment, sailors have some limited contact with loved ones before boarding, knowing it'll be their last for a long time. This brings a mix of emotions, but also sharp focus on the upcoming mission. Diving stations. This command signals the beginning of the deployment. Dive, dive. Precision and procedural rigor become paramount as the submarine slips beneath the waves. For many submariners, 
Diving is a routine part of their duties, yet it never becomes mundane due to the critical nature of the operations and the environment they work in. The initial sensation of diving can be thrilling for some and a matter of focused professionalism for others. Unlike the rocking of a ship, a nuclear sub's descent is smooth and controlled. Less experienced crew members might feel a tilting or sinking sensation. The change in light as they submerge is also noticeable. One three second emergency blow. Not a one three second emergency blow, I. Right? The sounds of the surface world fade. The constant hum of powerful machinery on board becomes more pronounced as the insulating layer of water thickens around them. As the submarine leaves the surface world behind, there's a growing awareness of isolation. The world sinks to the confines of the steel hull. The submarine's design, optimized for underwater efficiency, leads to significant movement on the surface, especially in rough waters, due to its cylindrical hull. This can make surface conditions quite uncomfortable. Contrastingly, at deeper depths, the same submarine remains much more stable, unaffected by the surface's turbulence. Feeling movement inside a submarine is similar to the experience of flying in an airplane. Initially, the power of the engines is palpable as the plane accelerates and lifts off. Once airborne, the sensation shifts to a steady motion propelled by kinetic energy. Similarly, in a submarine, water offers low resistance akin to air for planes. While the ocean's surface is more tumultuous, causing noticeable movement, deeper waters provide stability unless significant speed or directional changes occur. By the way, did you know that submarines can maintain a stationary position underwater? It's called hovering. This task, essential for ballistic missile submarines, or SSBNs, demands precise weight and buoyancy control, ensuring the submarine remains stable at the desired depth. Hovering, one of the most challenging maneuvers, relies on the submarine's ability to maintain perfect trim without forward movement, utilizing large trim tanks and valves for water displacement, making the process manageable but effort-intensive. It is essential for two main reasons. During covert operations, SSNs deploy or recover SEAL teams without speed to safely open hatches for divers and for some SSBNs during missile launches to ensure missiles exit the water correctly without the complication of movement affecting their trajectory. Even though it is a true giant, the space inside a US Navy nuclear submarine is extremely limited and conditions can be quite cramped. The interior is filled with machinery required for the vessel's operations and to sustain life underwater for months, leaving limited room for crew members. Submariners live in a pressure hull where every inch is efficiently used, which significantly reduces the amount of personal space and privacy. For submarines, stealth is not merely an option, it's an absolute necessity. I was assigned to you as a Simmet. Attention and control, designated Romeo 2A to contact your facility. There it is. Maintaining extreme quietness during certain operations is crucial for submarine crews to avoid detection by adversaries. 300 feet, 2 1 down. This includes minimizing not just machinery and electrical noise, but also preventing accidental sounds like metallic noises, which could compromise the submarine's location. Crew members not on duty are encouraged to stay in their bunks to reduce noise risks, underscoring the importance of silence for operational security and stealth in low noise underwater environments. Submariners follow an 18-hour day divided into three six-hour shifts. 
This means they work for six hours and then have 12 hours off for maintenance, study, relaxation, eating and sleep before starting their next shift. This unique schedule, combined with the absence of natural light and confined living conditions, demands high levels of discipline and resilience from the crew. Sleep is often in bunks stacked three high, and due to the lack of space, some crew members may have to hot bunk, which is a system where they share bunks in shifts so that when one person gets up, another takes their place in the still warm bed. A curtain provides a modicum of privacy, and each sailor typically has only a small locker or drop-down shelf for personal storage. A gentle chime pierces the stillness, rousing the crew from their bunks. A typical day for submarine personnel begins with a briefing, followed by a series of watches, maintenance tasks and drills. The crew operates on a rotating shift schedule to ensure the continuous operation of the submarine. Every crew member, regardless of rank, plays a critical role in the vessel's operation, from navigation and propulsion to weapons system management and life support. The officers lead their respective departments, ensuring the smooth running of the submarine. The navigation officer plots courses, the weapons officer oversees the submarine's offensive capabilities, and the communications officer maintains vital links to the outside world. The captain, the ultimate authority on board, carries immense responsibility for the crew's safety and the success of the mission. The enlisted personnel form the backbone of the submarine's operation. Mechanists' mates keep the engines running smoothly, while electronics technicians maintain complex communication and navigation systems. Sonar technicians are the sub's ears, interpreting the underwater soundscape to identify potential dangers or targets. Each role is critical, demanding a high level of technical expertise and unwavering focus. The food on a USN nuclear submarine has a reputation for being surprisingly good, especially considering the unique challenges of cooking in a submerged environment for months on end. Every square inch is valuable. Cooks have to plan meticulously and be innovative with how supplies are stored to maximize variety on long missions. In the confined world of a submarine, delicious meals provide a vital morale boost for the crew. Breads and pastries are often made from scratch on board, providing a comforting aroma throughout the sub and boosting morale with those little tastes of home. The USN places high importance on culinary training for its submarine cooks, officially known as culinary specialists. They are skilled at maximizing resources and creating tasty food with only a few fresh ingredients. Meals are planned on a rotating cycle to avoid boredom. Submarine cooks get creative with recipes, offering a mix of comfort foods, international dishes and even the occasional steak dinner. The initial loadout for a mission has fresh fruits, vegetables and dairy. They are the first to go, leaving cooks to rely on mostly frozen, canned and dried supplies for the bulk of the deployment. Birthdays, holidays and mission milestones are often celebrated with special meals and baked treats. This breaks up the potential monotony. The crew gathers in the mess hall, sharing stories and enjoying a hot meal prepared by the ship's cooks. Laughter and camaraderie offer a brief respite from the ever-present awareness of their submerged world. For sailors on the late night watch, there's often a simpler meal called midnight rations, aka midrats, available, ensuring everyone stays well fed around the clock.
Leisure activities on a USN nuclear submarine are understandably limited due to the constraints of space and the demanding nature of the missions. It's important to remember that free time is a luxury on a submarine. Long work shifts, maintenance, drills, and the constant alertness required for undersea operations leave minimal time for leisure. Many submariners bring books on deployment, ranging from novels to technical manuals for professional development. Card games, board games, and video games offer a chance to socialize and engage in some friendly competition. Limited space makes it challenging, but submarines often have a small gym with basic equipment like treadmills or stationary bikes. Holidays, successful milestones, or halfway day, marking the midpoint of a long patrol, might involve special meals, decorations, and even contests to break up the routine. To all who shall see these presents, greetings. Greetings! He is mate nuclear second class Aldama, having successfully completed the rigorous professional requirements for qualification in submarines, having gained a thorough knowledge of submarine construction and operation, having demonstrated his reliability under stress, and having commanding officer PC in Indiana. The return of a USN nuclear submarine from deployment is an event filled with a mix of powerful emotions, relief, and a long-awaited reconnection with the outside world. The closer it gets to the return date, the more anticipation builds. Crew members finish tasks with renewed vigor, eager to see loved ones. The first glimpse of land after months underwater is an emotional moment. It signifies a tangible end to their mission and the long isolation. <laughs> Families gather on the pier holding welcome signs and balloons. The sight brings cheers from the crew and often tears of joy on both sides. As sailors step onto solid ground, they're greeted with hugs, kisses, and the overwhelming joy of reunion. Walking on land can feel surprisingly unsteady at first. The sights, smells, and space of the open world are almost overwhelming after the confines of the submarine. This concludes our episode on a U.S. Navy nuclear submarine. So what do you think about these remarkable vessels? And what other pieces of military hardware would you like us to cover in our future episodes? Also, if you were lucky enough to see a U.S. Navy nuclear submarine up close, or better yet, served as a crew member, please comment. Remember to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay updated with our latest content. And while you're here, why not check out another one of our exciting videos? Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.